you'll need to source steel from two different locations on this cannon and combine them into a blade that fulfills the following parameters. The length of your blade, not including the tang, must be between 12 and 15 inches. The overall length of your weapon must not exceed 22 inches. And you will have three hours to forge your blades. Good luck, bladesmiths. Time starts now. I'm going to go ahead and guess that we're going to see some teamwork here. There's enough axle steel there for six smiths. Everybody want some of this? Uh, yeah, yeah. Just take that to the chop saw. Rip, 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 rip. So we found out that the axle for the cannon is high carbon spring steel, which is a great blade making material. On a lot of early fighting knives, they would have a section of brass on the spine of the knife. So I decided to add the mild steel spoke from the wheel of the cannon and combine these two different types of steel to meet the parameters of the blade build. Daniel is the only one of our smiths that has welded anything together so far. I'm using this spoke because it's the perfect size for the spine of my knife, and then I'm going to rock on with my forging. There's always a chance when you're heating such a massive piece of steel and a small piece of steel to forge weld them together that you're going to burn the small piece of steel. And I've never forge welded on this particular type of spring steel, so I don't know the exact parameters for the temperature limitations for it. I'm definitely having second thoughts about my course of action. Daniel's got a clear lead. He's way ahead of everybody else. I'm at the point now to where I can go ahead and harden the blade. Daniel has quenched with an hour and 16 minutes left on the clock. First thing I see is a crack about midway down the blade, right on the cutting edge. I thought maybe I could grind this thing out. So I keep cleaning the cutting edge up, and there's two more cracks right on the cutting edge. Wait, what, what is that? Immediately sick to my stomach. What's Daniel doing right now? What the f is happening right now? Did Daniel abandon his blade? The last thing on the planet that I want to do right now is start all over again. I don't know why you would start working on something else with an hour left in this competition. I have no options. I have to start over. I got a long ways to go and a short time to get there. I'm going to do everything I can to catch up. That just shattered like glass when I hardened it. The second blade isn't nearly as refined as the first one. But if I can get this thing quenched and get to the grinder for at least three or four minutes, I feel like I might have a chance to make it through the second round. It's not as hard as I want it to be, but not every tool steel is as hard as a file. So we're moving on to the grinder. Five, four, three, two, one. Bladesmith, shut down your machines, drop your tools. This forging round is over. I definitely royally screwed up the first blade, but I am happy that I didn't give up. Bladesmiths, in this first round of competition, each of you had to source steel from two different locations on a cannon. It's time for the judges to take a closer look at your work. All right, Daniel, please present your blade to the judges. This was really smart, fast work. I would love to see that fitted up better, but you hammered this out and got this done in basically half the time. You know, you've got just enough of a tang here for a blade this size. So seeing how you're going to connect a handle, work it into this blade, and work it into that guard, it's going to be interesting. Good job. Thank you very much, sir. Jesse, you're up next. Please present your blade to the judges. Well, Jesse, you started with a huge piece of steel. I think it really hindered you in your ability to get things moving. The handle is kind of big in all dimensions. I like that you designed a chopper, but it is quite rough. I mean, it's still rectangular. Despite all of it, you turn something in, and it meets the parameter. Thank you. Colin, you're up. Please present your blade to the judges. That kind of drop to the handle, I mean, it'll be interesting in moving forward to see how you're going to deal with this whole section and incorporate it into a handle. Bladesmiths, the judges have completed their deliberation, and they've made a final decision. The bladesmith leaving the forge. Jesse. Your blade did not make the cut. Doug Marquette is going to tell you why. Jesse, I hope you take from this experience to continue on, because the world awaits for your work. But at the end of the day, your blade was the least finished, and that's the reason we're sending you home. Jesse, please surrender your blade. 